For Crema Media's Policy, I'm Sane Lamini. Researcher and analyst Professor Raymond Satna joins me for Satna's View, a weekly commentary on South Africa's political scene. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. This month, uh, South Africa is celebrating women's in general, but then tomorrow we know that we are having a holiday where we celebrate women. But then if I take you back, we know that this day comes from when women in the 1950s marched to the union buildings mm. in protest against the proposed amendments to the Urban Areas Act. Can you tell us what this uh, celebration really means in, in our daily lives now? You see, I think that uh, Women's Day means something different mm. at different times, depending on the level of consciousness mm. of peop people of gender issues. In 1956, women were m marching around the pass laws and things like that. Mm. And uh, it wasn't, it was feminist, but not, they didn't speak of themselves as feminist. Now, what has emerged over the years is that there's a greater and greater consciousness of uh, the rights of women, but also the responsibility of men for violence and patriarchal ill-treatment mm. of women. And even the last year or two has seen a worldwide consciousness in this Me Too campaign, which has exposed various people as being sexual predators and as violating many women. Uh, people who've come, come out about violations that happened over 10 years ago. And in some cases, people like Bill Cosby have been convicted. Mm. This chap Harvey Weinstein is being ch charged. It's been alleged that uh, Danny Jordan raped some, uh, Jennifer Ferguson and someone else mm. has come out about it. So the context in which it's happened is a greater uh, aggressiveness of uh, the promotion of gender equality. And we've seen law yesterday, there was outrage on roads about SLC president or member who had been raped mm. earlier in the year committing suicide. Mm. And the reason for his suicide is that the man who raped her was not apprehended and he was in the same classes as her. Mm. Only after her death have they taken action against him. Mm. So you have this, it's not something that just happens with crazy, wild, uh, animal-like strangers. Mm. Mm. Most rapes, it seems, or may, very many rapes, are by people that the woman knows. And it happens in the streets, it happens in the bushes, it happens in universities, it happens a lot in schools. You've got a lot of sex. Someone was saying on the radio that it's peculiar to South Africa, but I don't think this is so, mm. what he calls sextortion, where you extract sex in exchange for marks. It happens a lot in the schools, but mm. also happens a lot with promotion or uh, doing your PhD or MA that someone has a hold over you. Mm. They can determine your future. They can fail you, mm. they can pass you, they can give you a job, they can refuse you a job. Happens in business, happens in trade unions, mm. happens in political parties. And I think, yeah, that's... Yeah, when we talk about roads, uh, I remember what uh, Rhodes VC said yesterday, Sizwe Mabizela, that uh, men that are being raised in our society now don't know how to love, respect, and treat women. How can this be corrected? Well, you know, the way one brings up one's uh, boy child mm. needs to be very conscious. You've got to be aware that when you bring up a child, the toys you give the child to play with can build up aggression, like war tools, war, war games, mm. or they can uh, bring up a boy child in a way that is gentle. This idea that boys only wear blue and girls wear pink mm. and things like this, all of these things have associations with what, how we conceive being a man, a boy, and a girl, 
and it must start at childhood. Mm. Boys play rough games like rugby. You now have girls, women playing rugby and all these other sports, mm. but it's important that from an early age, one must not associate roughness with being a man mm. and try to inc inculcate in our children the value of being gentle, the mm. value of caring mm. about other people. Mm. All of those qualities are not what are valued in most male societies. Mm. We also have in our country the Department of Women. What do you think this department should be playing uh, when we are celebrating Women's Day? Well, I wouldn't myself uh, say that we need to, we, we should be dealing with gender uh, in a part, only in a department of women. Mm. women. It's not uh, been successful even w before the present incumbent, who is not very easy, suitable for the job. Mm. But even before this, uh, people have always said, gender must be mainstreamed. It must be in every department. It mustn't just be an add-on, a special women's department. We've seen it's not very effective. Mm. So the importance of gender must be instilled within every aspect of life, which means every department of state must have a gender program. Mm. You've dealt with how society, like men in the society should be raised. Now tell me, how should women be raised in, uh, so that they can be able to face these issues? Well, you know, women must assert, well, let me say, I don't want to speak for women because mm. I may not know all the challenges that women face, mm. but it's important that women must not simply accept ideas that women can't go out at night, they can't walk here, they can't wear certain types of clothes. Mm. We fought for a society which is democratic, where there would be gender equality, and women have a right to dress in the way that they want to dress, to walk everywhere. You can't say that men are free to walk in this street and women are not. We've got to make those places safe for women and women are entitled to demand that. So I would support women being more assertive. Mm. I'm not saying they're not assertive. Mm. I, would, I agree with the assertiveness that is being manifested to some extent at the moment. Mm. Obviously not compelling people to do what they don't want to do, but I, will, I would myself support assertiveness. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. That was Professor Raymond Satna speaking to Krima Media's policy about Women's Day.